Nine and one again. Rank two. Ah, disappointing, man. We're still searching. Third week. It's, what, it's, a th it's our third nine and one in a row. But we're still looking. We're still looking for that ten and oh. Um, we're gonna get there as soon as Mbappe gets here. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy Simon here. Welcome back to a brand new custom tactic on the channel. With that being said, I'm gonna show you guys. This wonderful custom tactic I really enjoyed. I've been using it over the last couple of days and I've really enjoyed it. I got into, got into Division 3 in Rivals and obviously got 9 and 1 in Qualifiers and hoping to kick on when we play Champs. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Put the bell on so that when you know, when you know these videos do go live and comment down below how you are enjoying these custom tactics. And can we get, I would say, 30. You guys smashed it with the 20 likes on YouTube. Can we get 30 this week for the 4 2 3 one custom tactic? Um, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so to be a little bit different, I'm going to show you the tactics first. But I've changed the instruction for two players, which gives me a little bit more oomph in terms of going forward. And it really helps, especially when you're overloading certain areas. It really, really helps. So let's start off with the tactics. I play my own meta. I play my own meta. So defensive style is balance, width and depth is 43-55, okay? I feel that I can, I would, I'm better at defending my own box as opposed to winning the ball really early, really higher up the pitch. I feel like I could defend my own box better than trying to press the ball in the other half. So 43-55 is, is perfect for me. Build up play and chance creation is balance and direct passing. If you feel that it's not enough going forwards and you really want a little bit more, you can't get forward quick enough, then um, go long ball. Don't do anything else. Okay, but balance, just fine. Width, your attacking width is 50. Again, you don't want to keep changing the shape going forward. 50 gives me enough. There. I seem to be, a, there's a lot of space playing playing the ball. I could have gone a little bit more narrow, but I kind of like using the wing a lot. So 50 just keeps things nice and balanced. Players in the box is six. Again, the reason why is six for a reason. Now I tried it on five and five was good but it wasn't good enough in terms of trying to get the ball in the box, trying to get more chances going, things like that. So I went from five and six was just right for me. Corners and free kicks is on two. Your instructions is as follows. We're gonna start from the top and we're gonna work our way down. Fernando Torres is on getting behind only. Now, from my last video, I said the less instructions you have on your players the better because what that does it gives your tactics more room for for it to take control of the team all right so the the, the instructions has to kind of complement the tactics so Fernando Torres is just on getting behind your cam is on come back on defense now come back on defense it, it, it's almost as if it's like a false nine because what what Griezmann for example does he drops he sometimes drops in between Witzel and KDB when you're trying to get the ball forward he kind of drops in between the two and then tries to win the ball forward. You can have it on, you can have it on balance, but I quite like I quite like the fact that he kind of like comes and gets the ball and then helps out the attack at the same time. Griezmann's not the best cam, but I've got him and I tried him out, but I'm not gonna run him in weekend league, that's for sure. Your wide attacking midfielders, your left and right attacking midfielders is come back on defense and get in the box for the cross. This is just plain and simple for every single, every single um 4 2 3 1 custom tactic. Um, your, your wide cams is always a comeback on defense to help out. To be honest with you, they don't drop too deep, but at least they're close enough to the fullbacks just in case you want to you get them win the ball back and you want to go forward. Get in the box for the cross. Again, when you are trying to build up the play and you want to, more of a chances of, of, of trying to get a shot away, your, your wingers are, are there in the box waiting for you to get a shot away. Vitzel, your CDM. Now, this is going to be your ball winning CDM. I like Vitzel. I can't believe this is a free card. So if he, if he still, I don't think he can get him anymore. If you haven't got him, it's too late. Uh -huh. So this all I've got on. This is going to be your ball winning CDM. Tight marking, stay back while attacking and cover center. Now, the reason why I've gone with tight marking is because it marks out the cam very nicely. And Vitzel is actually a beast. His low, medium work rate works fine because he just sits. So I quite like the fact that I had him on tight marking and it works quite well. Your ball winning CDM. So your ball winning CDM. Now you're going to have a, C, a CDM that's going to be your box to box. I've got your box of balls. I've got Kevin De Bruyne here on cover center and cut passing lane. So he's going to be bombing up and down and helping out. So when either Griezmann's dropping, KDB will bomb in forwards. He's got that high medium work rates. So it works quite nicely and just gives you a little bit more options going forwards. All right. Don't worry about the fact 
that you, oh but that means I'm I'm gonna be one CDM defending. No no, no you'll be fine. Don't worry. You'll you'll be you'll be you'll be just fine. Your goalkeeper's gonna be a comfort cross sweeper keeper. Goalkeepers are rubbish, so comfort cross is sweeper keeper. It doesn't it honestly it I just do this out of habit. It doesn't really matter what you've got them on, because they're gonna be rubbish anyways. Um your now your wingers Oh, sorry, your fullbacks are going to be on balanced and overlap. This year, when it comes to balance, they're not always going to be bombing forwards. They will make the run when the opportunity presents itself. Or if you're actually a seasoned player, you can actually trigger the run yourself. So what they'll do, they'll make overlapping runs um, beyond the, the, the left and right cam. And I thought that it, quite, it worked quite well. And I thought I was going to be a little bit susceptible because I'm struggling defensively. But then when I was practicing with it, I was thinking, oh my gosh, how comes I'm not getting beat on the wing? Oh, I must be on stay back while attacking. I went to check and I was like, hold on, I'm still unbalanced. So I left it. And it's worked really, really well. And I was conceding less goals. Why? Because I was scoring more um, going forwards. I mean, if you want to ha only have maybe one, if you're still struggling going forwards, like Barsha, he's got that, that whip crossing, whip, whip pass. Um, but leave them both on balance and overlap and you'll be just fine. Fit. There's rank two in champs worth it. And as promised, I'm going to show you the rewards um to see if it is worth it oh yeah skipping that usa goalkeeper yes yeah, her with the short hair yeah, nah, nah, not for me small rare come on at least one ah uh, rank two you know i know it's qualifiers but damn all right, Rare Mega, this is it. This is what it all comes down to. Is it worth it? It's gotta be USA goalkeeper as a centre back. Oh, come on, man. Oh. All right, lads. So there it is, guys. Thank you for checking out this video. I thought I'd change it up, give you a bit of bit of pack opening. If you want to see more pack openings in these custom tactics, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. And put the bell on so we know these videos do go live. And I hope you guys do enjoy the 4 2 4 2 3 1 custom tactic because it's probably the most balanced formation out of the whole of, of, um, of EAFC. And um, yeah, so until then, I'll see you at the next upload. Peace.